Hello, it's Judy from Itchy Palms Gardens in central Victoria. Today I'm not gardening, today I'm going to paint a wombat. This is the lovely wombat that I am using for a reference photo for our picture. He's from the Kai Abram Fauna Park in northern Victoria, Australia. I took the photo last weekend. It's always good to have a good reference photo when you're painting. On a pre-painted board, I loosely painted in the wombat, not worrying too much about details at first. I'm crossing my fingers that he'll look better as we go along. Keep watching and you'll see. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm using acrylic paint. It's not as smelly as oil paint and it washes out easily in water. I've let my imagination go with 5mm masking tape. My wombat will be walking through the long grass. Later on I'll probably put more detail in the wombat but for now it'll suffice. It just gives me an idea of where he is and I'll fill in the grass. The tape will help me get nice clean lines which this little video is all about. Digressing a bit, I couldn't help showing off our garden. It's late autumn at the moment and the leaves have all fallen. Now here's our little wombat with all the masking tape painted black. By painting the tape black, it helps to seal the tape so that there is less bleeding under it to get your clean lines. I've taken the picture outside so that the sun and breeze dry the black paint because you want the paint totally dry before you're painting in the colour. Applying the colour is the fun part. Make sure you paint slightly over the border of the tape so that each section when you take the tape off will be nice and clean and filled in. Once you're happy that you've filled in all the gaps and overlaid the paint over the tape slightly on each little section, you can let it dry and then start to peel. So if you've done the previous steps correctly, you shouldn't have much touching up to do once you've taken all the tape off. And if you've kept some of your colours from your painting, it's quite easy to do. Digressing again, here are our two bay trees that we trim into nice pots in the garden. And below the bay trees is our little wombat friend. He's happily strolling through the grass. Thanks so much for watching and please don't let anybody put you off painting your own masterpiece because nobody's perfect and the best painting in the world hasn't been painted yet. It could be yours. Happy painting and happy digging from Judy at Itchy Palms Gardens. Bye.